everybody, this is Miss K and welcome to Miss K Gone Postal. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. I'm here, the slave ship. God help me, y'all, Lord Jesus. But I only got two more days left to work, so I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to, to make it, baby. I'm trying to just drag my pole bones on. But today, Miss K come here to give y'all a little bit of information, some information that you guys could use. Let's start with the first piece of information, which is that now with all the fiasco bullshit going on in fucking Houston with all that backlog of mail that they're trying to get together and get out two more senators two more representatives have stepped forward and they're literally saying that the um, postal service is not providing any information as to why these delays keep going on and on and on and there's a growing outcry not just from postal customers and postal workers but now you have those who are in you know seats of power senators representatives who are like what the fuck is going on what's all this bullshit you got going on and they're saying that DeJoy and the you know postal committee aren't giving any answers in regards to what the fuck is going on now this leads me to my second part <laughs> I know y'all want to know this so coming up on February 8th there's going to be a rally outside the um the postal service um headquarters <clears throat> excuse me y'all it's kind of chilly really today <clears throat> so there has been a decision made that the committee no longer has to allow um any comments in regards to meetings now i gotta read y'all this shit because this this shit is serious let me read this here come put them put them on readers y'all because y'all y'all gotta hear this shit here so what has transpired is that the Board of Governors <clears throat> made a decision recently that they're going to limit public comment in their quarterly meetings um, to once per year. So before you could make comments prior at any meeting that they had. Now they're saying, no, 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 I won't hear that shit. Mm -mm. We don't want to hear that bullshit. You get to talk one time a year. That's it. We don't want to hear that shit. So on Thursday, February 8th, at the Postal Service headquarters that's going to be that's in DC they're going to have a rally this is from the community and postal workers united they actually got a press release you might want to find it because they serious so they're gonna have a rally outside the building at 2 and then they're going to have action where they're going to go inside and have and continue the rally at 4 o'clock now this sound kind of shady to me if you got this 10-year plan and you're doing all these changes wouldn't you want feedback from the community when you want feedback from your postal workers in regards to when you have these quarterly meetings and these quarterly meetings are usually about you know delay of mail working conditions costs raising prices and the participants in the in the you know that come to the committee meetings are allowed to bring comments and critiques so now you're saying that we're not doing that no more so how the meetings normally structure right it's public it's a public forum and you get three minutes, right, to go ahead and speak. And then what happens is then it goes to 90 seconds, then 25 seconds, and then um, in person only. Well, now in person only until next November. But before when you had these public meetings, you were given three minutes to speak or three minutes to say what it is you need to say. Now they're saying, we're not doing that. We don't give a fuck about what y'all want. We can care less about that shit. We don't. And if you've noticed, I've been telling you guys about these meetings that they've been having at different locations in regards to them allegedly, you know, trying to evaluate how the particular plant, you know, regardless if it's an LDC or PDC, how it's functioning. And then they're making decisions on what they're going to do as far as consolidation and all of that. But if you notice in these last meetings and even the one I told you all about in Knoxville, that shit was fucking shady. They told them we're not here to address any of your concerns we're not here for that we don't give a fuck what y'all talk about you could talk all you motherfucking won't we're not addressing it that's literally what they were told in knoxville and that's literally what's being told in most of the, the um locations where they're having these meetings now in regards to some of these meetings that they're having because technically let's just say call it like call it like we see it these fucking public meetings are staged 
the post office is trying to look like they give a fuck and say, oh, we're going to have an open form and we're going to do it. And we want the community to come out and we want the postal workers that are involved in this particular facility that we're looking at to evaluate. We want their genuine feedback. No, the fuck you don't. No, the fuck you don't. Because in all honesty, real talk, they're having these meetings, these public hearing meetings. They're having these little stage public hearing meetings where they're doing it in obscure locations. They're doing it at times where either postal workers can't come or the community as a whole can't come because the time is retarded. You're doing it at two o'clock in the afternoon or three o'clock in the afternoon. People are still working. People are doing what they need to do and they can't come to these meetings. So that's why I'm calling it staged. If you smell shit, it's shit. It is what it is. And you're doing this on purpose. So if you're having postal meetings or public hearings to get input from postal workers, from postal stakeholders, from the community about the PDNCs and the, and the RPDCs, don't have a meeting and say, well, we just we just here to, to sit here and listen to y'all. It ain't like we finna talk about it. But you're, you're toting and saying, there's no closures, there's no layoffs, despite the fact that some people are being laid off, despite the fact that some people are just saying fucking and quit because you're moving the facility so far away, 60, 70 miles, the person don't want to fucking drive. They don't. So I keep telling y'all, I don't know why you think the post office gives a fuck about what you think. These people move in shady and they move in in silence and they're holding these public meetings to make it look like they give a fuck about them moving a particular um, facility, maybe closing that facility down and then moving them to another facility. They don't give a fuck about that shit. When they come to them fucking public hearings, they already know what the fuck they're going to do. They just sitting there letting y'all run y'all motherfucking mouth so y'all can hear y'all fucking self speak. So that is why this rally is going to be held on Thursday because these motherfucking people are tired of it. You have now allowed the fact that, oh, we don't want y'all to have any, any comment anymore. We're going we're gonna to do this. Yes, yeah, a quarterly meeting, but you can only speak one time a year. What does that tell you? Honestly, what the fuck does that tell you? That tells you we don't give a fuck what you think. We can fucking care less. I'm looking down, y'all, because I'm looking at my notes, because I'm reading my notes. But this shit is this shit is crazy. This shit is all smoke and fucking mirrors, bruh. Smoke and mirrors. They show you one thing, but give you something else. Or they, they deflect your attention away. You know, and this shit is not, you know, minuscule. This shit is affecting, especially if you're moving, what's going on now, all these SDCs. And 30 more are coming online. Remember, we had two in January. We're now in February. The 30 new ones are coming online. And the post office just said they cutting services and shit. They consolidating shit. In some areas, they're not going to be doing um, Sunday delivery anymore. It's a lot of shit going on. But you're having public hearings. Alleged. Let's use that word. Alleged public hearings. Oh, well, tell us your concerns. Oh, policito. Ay, que bebito. Nobody cares. They don't give a fuck. They want you to believe that your words mean something. They don't. Because when money makes a decision, the decision is already made. You're just going to get the information after the decision is made. And that's the way shit is. So, you know... The postal workers have decided, hey, we're not, we not with this shit. We're not with the fact that you have decided that it's okay, that the board has decided, oh, well, you know what? It's okay. You don't need to speak. We don't want your comments. Don't you think that's kind of weird? The board of governors has allowed this shit. And y'all keep talking about, we need to get rid of the joint. They don't want to get rid of that motherfucker. They don't want to get rid of him. There's a reason why he's still there. There is a fucking reason. And the problem is, is by the time all of us figure it out, it will be too motherfucking late. It's going to be too late. You got facilities right now 
that are actually finna get auctioned up. There's one in Sheboygan. It's a historic building. Post office finna auction that shit up. That one we actually do own. One of the rare historic post offices that we actually have. They finna offer, they finna fucking damn have an auction. They finna get bread for that. And they're gonna move it somewhere, but they don't even know where they're gonna move it yet. But they're gonna auction it off. Think I'm bullshitting? Look it up. Look it up. Then you have other facilities that are literally don't even know what's going on. You got these 30 new facilities coming online, these new SDCs coming online this month, because we're in February. I told y'all, first ones was in January, second ones in February. This is the 30. And they haven't released that. The, and there's another list that's already out showing the other facilities. They're not giving you an opportunity to speak your mind. They're not giving you an opportunity to say, hey, well, what about this, this, and this? Or why, why can't we do it? They don't care. The decision has been made. While all the while, people are getting shuffled around. Some people losing their jobs. Some people are losing their fucking minds because they, they're trying to figure out what the post office is doing. Don't try to figure out shit these people are doing. Because you won't. It's above your pay grade. It's above your pay. It's above all our pay grades. Because if you ain't up there, you ain't going to know nothing. That's, that's as simple as that. That's as simple as that. At this point in time, looking at what's been going on since last year to now, with the PDNCs becoming LDCs or LPCs, and now you got the SDCs. So there's a if you've not noticed, there's been elimination of um, clerks or the need for clerks, for truck drivers, even for supervisors. <laughs> Them dumb motherfuckers ain't immune. You adding more time for a commute. You're adding more travel time to the fucking carrier routes. You already got carriers who got to fucking commute to the new SDCs. Then they got to commute back, literally drive back to their old facility, in the area of their old facilities to fucking deliver mail. And then you got this clusterfuck fiasco going on in Houston that just won't seem to come out the news. That just won't go the fuck away. And because it is an election year, now you got people who are running for office going, what the fuck? And not just people who are from Houston or people who are representatives of Texas. You got people from other states going, well, if that shit's happening there, what the fuck's going to happen where we are? This is a domino fucking effect. But the Board of Governors are saying, well, we don't want comments. We don't need we don't need any information. We don't want any input from you guys. But this is how you run this shit. You running this shit like this, the projects. You got an extension cord going from one person's house to the motherfucking next house so y'all can run a motherfucking refrigerator. This is how ghetto this shit is. It's ghetto. Get ghetto. It's ghetto. Then have the audacity say, well, we know it's ghetto, but we ain't asked y'all all that. Keep that shit to yourself. Just bring your ass to work and get this check shut the fuck up. When you should have been speaking up, when you should have been addressing what the fuck is going on, no, we didn't want to do that. And now this shit is becoming real. And now y'all want to speak on it. We're not speaking on that. It's too late for that. Ride the wave, motherfuckers. Ride it. So, don't forget, if you know anybody who is in the D.C. area, they probably already know about it. If you're going to be in D.C. and you want to attend this rally, because it's from the Postal Workers United. They have a press release on their website. They're going to be at the headquarters in D.C. on this Thursday, the 8th of February. And remember what I told y'all, the rally is going to be outside the building <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all, at 2 o'clock. Then they're going to take the rally inside. And they usually do it like in the vestibule or whatever. And they're going to be inside the building. And they're going to start that at 4. If you have any interest in it. Or check it out online. It might be live. Somebody might be recorded from that shit. But is it going to make a difference? But at least their voices are being heard. Are they paying attention to our voices? No, not really. But it is what it is. I kept te telling y'all. As these new SDCs pop open, you're going to see so much shit going on. 
We, baby, we ain't even three, four, five months. We ain't even made it to the summer yet. And this shit hot. It's hot. It's like hot garbage. The longer it's in the sun, the stanker it get. And it's stank right now. So just imagine in a month or two how stank it's really going to be. But whatever. You know, Miss K come and tell y'all the information y'all need to use. Because these motherfuckers ain't going to tell you shit. And I know they're not telling y'all shit because y'all telling me at work. They ain't telling y'all shit. Oh, I don't know. I didn't hear that. And that's your management. Lying ass motherfuckers. They ain't no shit. They just don't want to tell y'all shit. But whatever. Keep an eye out for Thursday on this rally. And definitely, you want to take a look at some information, look up the Board of Governors for the Post Office, and you can see for yourself. That is something that they agreed upon. They're not going to have public comments anymore in their quarterly um, meetings. You only get to speak once a year. Look it up. That's what they think about y'all. They don't even want to hear shit you fucking got to say. But on the other hand, Miss K do. Because you know Miss K love for postal freaks. And anything you guys got to say in regards to this, drop it in your comments. What I tell y'all, one band, one motherfucking sound. We have to let everybody know what's going the fuck on. Tell me how you feel about this shit. Tell everybody else how you feel about this shit. Tell the postal freaks how you feel about this shit. Because you know how Miss K feel about it. It's bullshit. Fuckery. Wrapped in more bullshit. Frosted in fuckery. I said it. But continue to have a great rest of your fucking day. Enjoy the slave ship. If y'all guys got off, <laughs> you so fucking lucky you left us behind. But for those of us still working, we're going to keep thugging it out and make this bread. And always remember my postal freaks. Love and light. Peace.